today's video, I wanna talk about the comment that you can't go broke taking profit. I wanna spend some time today on the charts with you guys explaining why this concept can be debunked and why this concept isn't necessarily true. At first, even when I started learning how to trade, I used to hear it and I used to hear people say, you know, you can't go broke taking profit. And when you think about it, if you're taking profit, that's a good thing, right? Your account balance is going up. Well, in certain circumstances, that is the case. And in certain circumstances, it is true, you cannot go broke taking profit. I want to spend today really going into why this is not necessarily the case and why sometimes you want to pay more attention. So right here on the chart, I just have a random period of time. This is uh, early May here on Euro dollar. That part doesn't really matter. And I what I want to do is go back into hindsight and explain to you guys this premise of you can't go broke taking profit. Now, what I'm going to utilize is short positions. I'm going to assume we're going to sell uh, in this area right here. I'm just going to assume that based off your strategy, that's the area we want to sell. So we saw the market come up above this blue line and broke below this line. And if the market comes back up again, we want to sell. So we're hindsight trading, but the point is showing you this as an example. So let's pretend for a minute that at this point right there, the market hits it, you want to sell. Now, based off what you've been taught per your strategy, I'm not trying to teach you guys a brand new strategy today. This is meant to go with any strategy. You probably have been taught to put your stops above a structural level. You can see the market came up at this point. Market came up again at this point. And it seems to me that right there the market's hit twice. Ah, okay, let's put our stops above that level. So let's start there. Let's pretend that that's where we want to put our stop loss level. And then let's say we want to make sure that we have at least a minimum risk reward ratio of a one to two. I'll just leave it right there, 2.01. So in this case, I've got a one to two risk to reward ratio. And to start, I wanna start by, by going through it in, in the real manner. In the real manner, you enter the market, we'll even, we'll drag it over here. I'm not gonna use the replay tool for this. Let's say the market comes up. You enter the market immediately, in this case, in the first hour, you hit your take profit. The position is done within that candle. You hit your take profit. Your take profit was set right there at that blue line. There was your entry, there was your stop, and there was your take profit. This is all normal. This is all fine. This is exactly what you should be doing. However, I really want to now hone in on the statement, you cannot go broke taking profit. So let's take a step back for a minute. Let's pretend the trade is identical. Everything is exactly the same. You identified that you wanted to sell in this region. When the market hit this blue line, you want to put your stops above the high. And you want to set your target again at a one to two. Everything is the same. Except for if you notice in this trade, after this first candle is hit, within the next hour, the market starts to fall. And you guys know better than I do. When you're in that moment, not, no amount of training, no amount of YouTube videos, no amount of information can help for what goes on in the mind. You start going, oh my gosh, it's going down, it's going down. What if it stops going down? And you start deciding yourself, maybe I should exit this trade. Maybe I should take profit. And I think that this is where this statement was created. You can't go broke taking profit. And so what people do is they say, well, shoot, I can't go broke taking profit. I'm here. There's a level of structure. I'm going to exit early. And that in this area right here is where they exit. Now you say to yourself, well, Patrick, why is that bad? Well, what just happened was, is you said to yourself, I can't go broke taking profit. I let the market drop to here and you fully exit the trade. Pretend it's gone. You're exited. You say, man, I made profit. I can't go broke taking profit. But what you really did was you exited early and that's where you exited. Now you tell me what that risk reward reads now. Once you exited early, your risk reward went from effectively a one to two to a 1.2. This is a one to 1.2 risk reward, meaning for everything you risk, 1% that you risk, you get 1.2% back. And as you guys know, per how I teach, 
I advise that all traders have a minimum of one to two risk reward ratio. I don't like to see a massive risk reward ratio because then your accuracy will diminish and the odds of you winning a trade are going to go down. But what I'd like to see is at least a one to two. And that's what this case is. But because you said I can't go broke taking profit, you exited early and now you have a 1.2 risk to reward ratio. If you do that time and time again, what you've just done is effectively created a scenario where you're basically monitoring and you're running off of a one to one risk to reward ratio. This means that you have to win just as many trades as you lose to make money. This makes it much more difficult on your success. That's why a one to two risk reward ratio is so important because if you're risking 2% on a position and you're at a one to two risk reward ratio, you're risking 2% for a reward of 4%. And so you can lose a trade and then you can win a trade. So you can lose one and win one and you're still up 2% in that example. Versus if you're at this example, you're essentially up 0.4%. One more loss and you're in the negative in this case. One more loss on a one to two risk road ratio and you're break even. So when people say you can't go broke taking profit, that is the case if you're letting it hit your take profit. But people constantly are saying, Patrick, I've got to take profit. I set my take profit, but did you let it hit it? Because oftentimes we are so inclined to let the market run and we'll let it hit our stop loss but we'll never let it hit our take profit. So if you enjoyed today's video, guys, let me know in the comments section what you learned. I really just wanted to hone in on this simple concept that you can actually go broke taking profit. I know that might sound interesting, but it all has to do with are you exiting a trade early before it hit your risk reward principle, before it hit that level that you created. So if you like videos just like this, sharing the screen, just quick and easy topic, put a, uh, a thumbs up on this video. Also comment down below what you guys learned. Appreciate you all so much for subscribing and giving me support on this channel for these free content filled videos. And we'll see you guys on the next video.